Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Vegan Babe here and I'm coming at you with another grocery haul and today I went to Aldi so let's get started. First item, got some strawberries. Hopefully you can see this because the camera is a bit far away but I got strawberries. It's a nice big planet of strawberries. And next item is a cucumber. Next item is some white seedless grapes and this is a very small packet. You can see. There were actually a packet of two of these grapes together in one packet but I decided to buy them separately because I'm a bit funny like that. So I picked up these grapes and next item are some tomatoes, piccolo tomatoes and this will be great for my burgers. I'm going to be having some yummy burgers and I need some tomatoes and some lettuce and some cucumber to go with it. So that's what we're using that for. And next item are some wholemeal rolls. So these are the fun. And the next item are some organic mushrooms. Just some plain white organic mushrooms right there. And Next up, we have some seeded white loaf bread. I didn't pop onto the fact that this was white when I was in the shop because I kind of just, you know, threw it into the basket and I was rushing. Not rushing, but I was just over speeding. I wasn't taking my time at all. So, yep, I got this white loaf here. And as you know, like most of you who watch my videos on a regular basis, I buy brown bread all the time. I buy wholemeal everything, wholemeal everything. So, this item are some courgettes. Three in the packet. Don't know what I'll be using this for, but I know I love courgettes, so... Next item is a very large aubergine. Like when I saw this, I was just like, damn! One big aubergine, like, compare it to my head, it's huge. And my hand is like, damn. Like, I am a petite lady, but still. And I got some almond milk that I'm not too sure about, because I'm a milk snob, and I buy what I like. I get Rude Health, I get Oatly, I get Provitamil, I think that's how you pronounce it, Provitamil. Um, and I don't buy, what is this, Actleaf, I've never heard of this. <laughs> this is like uh, Aldi's own brand I'm assuming, or something that Aldi stocks. And the ingredients on the back, let me show you guys. I'm not too happy about these ingredients, but you know how I am. I like simple natural ingredients, like if something, if I had milk and it said uh, oat, and that was the only ingredient I would buy it versus something that has a bunch of ingredients on it but I thought you know I might as well try this out because because I can't knock something that I haven't tried and even though I won't try it out again like I, I highly doubt that I'll try it again because of all the ingredients on the back and how it's you know it's been processed and, and all of that stuff I know that organic milk yeah it has been processed and milk with like one or two ingredients it has been processed but my whole point is that it's more natural and you know there's less ingredients and you actually know the ingredient that's in it so something that has three ingredients four five six and i know everything like every single ingredient on there then i'm all game i'll buy it but sometimes i just like to try things out just for the sake of trying them and that brings me on to these tomato sauces i've got everyday essentials tomato and herb pasta sauce and it says it's vegetarian but of course it's for vegans as well so this, I've never tried it before, and again, if I like it, sure, I'll probably buy it whenever I, I pass by Aldi or whatever. Because I shop in Sainsbury's, to be honest, quite a lot, and Tesco's, sometimes Asda and sometimes Morrison's. Uh, Aldi is it's kind of, it's not far away from me, but it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit like awkward to get to, I guess. I mean, it's only a bus ride, but still, you know, Tesco's is literally a five minute walk away from me. Sainsbury's is just like some nice chilled out bus ride and then Aldi, Aldi is just, I don't know, it's kind of in the busy part of town, let's say. Um, next item I have is tomato and garlic pasta sauce from Cucina. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is it guys. Uh, this should be nice to try out. Next item I have are some ready to eat mango chunks. And of course, I'll be having these as a snack or for breakfast. And next item, some spinach. And you guys know that I love my spinach. This is washed and ready to eat, which is great. But sometimes I double wash things just for the sake of it. If I'm feeling lazy, then I, I won't double wash it. <laughs> That's just the way I am. And 
And next item is a sweet leaf salad which has lettuce and carrots and yeah that's it lettuce and carrots. Pretty nice. Washed and ready to eat again. Next item is some British curly kale. And you guys know I love my, my kale. It says a natural source of vitamin C, folic acid and fibre guys. If you don't eat a lot of kale I'd recommend that you do because it's great, it's awesome. You can have it with pretty much anything. You can have it in soups, you can have it on the side of your meal, whatever that meal is. Um, you can have it for lunch, dinner, uh, even breakfast, you know, in a like burrito, a breakfast burrito sort of wrap. So I would say kale is something that you can have at any time of the day and any season. It's not a heavy food. It's not like uh, boiled potatoes, for example. You know, you can eat more kale than you can eat boiled potatoes, that's my point. So moving on to the next two items, the very last items are some avocados. And these are ripe and ready to eat, I'm probably going to use one of these today and one of these tomorrow. So, yep, I love my avocados guys, and yeah, these are very cheap and affordable. Just like everything else I bought from Aldi. If I remember correctly, everything came up to £17 and something pence. I can't remember the pence, but it was around the £17, 18 sort of mark. So yeah, I'm going to show you the, the shopping list and you can see for yourself. But that's what I got from Aldi today, guys. And I hope you've enjoyed this shopping haul. Feel free to subscribe for more and stay tuned for more vegan friendly videos. Bye.